my name is Yair Herling and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Checkpoint. Today we'll be talking about Checkpoint's new revolutionary and super convenient way of managing your security from the palm of your hand. I'm talking about a mobile security app capable of managing multiple security gateways in just one click, with a single sign-on to the app and that's it. The security of my environment is at my fingertips. Only thing we need to take care of is pairing the device using the QR code, which is unique to every device, then just navigate between the gateways in the environment and configure the level of security each gateway is responsible for, plus basic monitoring preferences and of course control over the network settings. This app enables live native notifications and security alerts on the go meaning I don't need to worry anymore where I am, I will be able to react immediately when something bad happens from my mobile device. Naturally, I can also configure the level of notifications as in any mobile app to meet my needs. I'm also talking about direct and insightful security events and adjusting the security policy accordingly via the app where only basic access related actions may be required or via web UI. This will require an additional secure login to the device. I will show that later on. Both connections are performed via the app. That is via checkpoint secure connection to the device. Oh, well, when you look at that, what a coincidence, I just received an alert. Apparently a new device just connected to my network. Who are you? This alert is configured by default, so whenever a new or unknown device gets connected to my network, I can know immediately and delegate my security from the palm of my hand. As we can see, this new device was infected with malware, unfortunately something that is common threat for all of us. We can review the device details and the infection details. I think first I will block this device and investigate later once we finish this session. That's it, that was easy. Installation phase is a no-brainer. Once I scan the QR code, I only need to enter the administrator password and that's it. The gateway is now managed by the app. The default home tab includes a dynamic network and security overview. I can check who is connected to my networks, LAN and wireless on the internal and VPN connections on the external. As you can see, there's three additional tabs I can navigate to. On the events tab, I can review and drill down to security events, whether it be infected devices, blocked infected files or blocked infected emails, etc. I can use the upper filter menu to view only the security incidents, events that require additional actions, for example, uh, internet connection failover, and information events regarding activities in my network. The statistics tab includes data regarding your bandwidth usage and security statistics over time. As you can see, this can be filtered by 1 hour, 24 hours, 7 days or even 30 days. Over here in the settings tab, I can configure the Wi-Fi passwords and most importantly, the notifications and security alerts I will receive once encountered. In the side menu, I can also navigate security to the security gateway's web UI in order to change a policy as needed. Change a policy from the palm of my hand. This really is the future of cybersecurity. As we saw earlier, we can configure the app to send us notifications whenever a new device is connected to our secured network. I can configure the app to provide all relevant details such as device type, vendor, hardware name, OS, etc. I can also tag the device, thus changing its name or type as they appear on the security gateway accordingly or, or with what we just saw. Based on those parameters, block the device completely from using my network. In the case of infected device tries to register to my security gateway unknowingly or maliciously, I will receive an alert and can explore the infection incident and receive all relevant intelligence regarding the device. Based on that info, I can block the device from the network, solve the issue and mark it as resolved. And of course, allow access for that device again so it could connect again to the no network. All while I'm ordering my coffee at the shop. Thanks for checking out the new app with me. I'm really excited for everyone to get their hands on it. Join the conversation, connect and share with the Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.